Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and we are back with more Hell Sign. And in the last episode, we just went on our first mission. We talked to this guy, and she supposedly is supposed to know more about a tattooed Hell Sign on her back. So, are you a scout? Oh, yeah, what's your name? Oh, it doesn't matter. I need a good address here. Whoa, whoa, wait. What the hell? Oh, you must be Zo. Yes, have we met? Sorry. I forgot your name. Was it Roger or Matt? Anyway, are you a scout? Uh, let's see. Let's go be blunt. Just trying to find some answers. I woke up with a hell sign and I have no idea how I got here. Oh, you're a hunter. Hmm. I'm looking for a pretty swamped here. Trying to figure out how this paranormal activity around the town all pieces together but I'll tell you what help me finish my this research and I'll answer your questions any and answer any questions you have do you yeah 70 bucks okay go back so I've been sitting in the area and noticed a pattern of paranormal disturbances around town ever since that shadow appeared back in 76 down at the docks it's been crazy here. So I need you to gather a couple of evidence signs to fill the missing data and help me figure out what's going on here. All right, so. Lamia, now that was the very first thing that we screwed around with and we screwed around with the spiders, a Skolex. Ugh. All right. So we are trying to uh, investigate for signs and bring them to Zoe. Our past contract, that's the stuff we did to begin with. Field manual, supernaturals. Oh, look at that. So as we go through and we start trying to kill stuff, Uh, so to act, you have to actually give them form by summoning them after you find the clues that appear. All right, so we can do, um, all right, for the reading, for detailed information. Okay. All right. So let's see, we need something really easy. Let's go to the forensics house, right? Authorities have issued a contract for forensic specialists to collect evidence from a fresh crime scene. Note, some areas are off limits. As a legit job, the sign rarely values its, it is quite poor, but with minimal threats, it's really, okay. Okay, we're going to the right, looks like, yep. Oop. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay. White fur, damn spiders again. Okay, I bought something special for them. <laughs> we'll see, we have to use it. And I bought incendiary rounds, so let's see. My handgun, so. Primary gun, so that must be the 12 gauge. Woo! 
Okay. Let's hope we don't got to use that. Let's see. I'm going to go back to three. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ooh. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so you kind of get the... Oh, and it was in the crapper. All right. I think we're good. Mission complete. All right. Because otherwise, we're just going to go around killing stuff and not get paid for it. Well, we don't want to do that, now do we? There we go. I earned seven bucks, but going back to the bar, we'll get a good chunk of dough from that chick, from the lady here. Any other signs for me? Seventy bucks. All right. Great. Now I just need you to cross-reference those with this giant pile of newspapers from '76. I should get some answers. So I woke up with no memory of who or what had happened. Interesting. Now I got this giant hell sign on my back, not to mention the reoccurring nightmares, nightmares and headaches. Yeah, I've read about stories about this before. I'll be honest, it could be from a number of things, from cursed brands to altered dimensional snapback. But my best guess is you're haunted by a poltergeist. I would have to do some more research, though, to find out for sure. All right, fix this. Well, you need to kill a poltergeist, which is basically impossible. Awesome. But listen. I really can't be sure without studying you a little further. I get, the, I get the feeling helping you find your answers will help me figure out what's going on here, so I'll help you out. Okay. Don't thank me just yet. Lefty mentioned you helped a couple of rookie hunters deduct a phantom's identity. And I need you to do something sim similar. Sure. You managed to deduct the phantom's identity. Come find me. I'll be right here. Okay. Paranormal sightings have been reported in local junkyard. The owner has reached out for specialists to look in the affair. Possible phantom on site. That's what we want. Collect signs and deduct its identity. Okay. Ooh-wee. All righty, folks. So, I have been screwing around a whole bunch here. Because I kept getting killed no matter where I went. Until I went and I started and I read... Oh, here we go. Where is it? These guys right here. Right. So, I'm running into the spiders. Specters. And the Tasmanian Megalope. Basically, you can kill the giant centipedes with silver rounds, and you can fight off the specters with silver rounds. And the Bino spiders, well, that's just easy. You know, we're just, uh, we got our inflammatory heavy incendiary ammo for that. And then I went and I got me a little light SMG, um, 1500 
rounds of silver ammo. And that is because of everything I keep running into here. What's really interesting is that this is on purpose, right? The devs want you, I think, to do that. Oh, okay. White fur, well, that's uh, usually the spiders. Um, so we'll just work our way through here. Now, the last thing you want to do is unleash anything. At least at this stage, because I tried and I just got lit, man. I mean, they, it just stomped me into the ground. So, obviously I don't have strong enough weapons. And you need to, you know, you gotta do your research, so. Can you give me my gun, please? Of course. Where'd he go? Jesus. Man, so that doesn't quite work as good as I was hoping it would. But, when you die, you keep the signs that you found, so they're basically what you, you know, you, you just, you die a whole bunch. Until you earn enough stuff that you can then survive fighting stuff. I got one more thing to find. Devour? Ew, what the hell is that? Lamia. That's these guys. And as a holy can, let's see. So fire is the best thing to use against them. Hand grenades are fatal to this thing. Okay. So if we actually wanted to fight it, we could do that. But that's not worth what we're gonna work at here. Don't be doing that. What we're gonna do now is try and figure out where our damn... Oh yeah, I walked into my own cow ropes. I don't use those things. Now we gotta figure out where our damn truck went. Suck it, sucker.
another truck. Okay, well, we'll leave that sign. I don't care. Tanking of Phantom's identity. So soon, this is so exciting here. This should cover your expenses. So I looked into your situation a bit more and found an identical poltergeist hunting case just like yours back from 1966, right around the time of the Great Dimensional Terror. Uh oh. Not so fast. We need to learn more about your past, how you got haunted in the first place. Not to mention, you need some serious demon voodoo to hope to beat that one. Okay. I've got some theories, but I need a while to decipher all this data and figure out how it ties into the other incidents around town. Luckily, there's always work around the bar to keep you busy. All right, so we'll go back here. So yeah, at this point, now it's a question of, I guess, just going through and checking out these various things. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do next to get anywhere. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Takes light ammo. You know what? We're going to buy that. And we'll get rid of this. Alrighty, folks. So, uh, let's see. Go to our safe house. Go. Got plenty of ammo. Who looks like any more incendiary heavy rounds? Got them light rounds too, just in case if we go on a spider hunt. Oh, that's right. We have one point to use here. I think I'm going to do uh, requires level six to earn this skill. What? All right, paranormal peripherals allows the use of specialized optical and protective gear. That we're going to learn. You may ask why. Well, now at the guns and bait, we'll be able to buy a bunch of different stuff. Ballistic vest. 3,500. This has got 140. What? Oh, speed. Currently have the leather jacket. But now we can do the gas smash, night vision. But illuminates reflective enemies such as insectoids. So all the bugs for fighting that'd be good for. What about gas mass? Okay, doesn't say. And boots. Hazmat boots. Oh, okay. Active insoles. Here we go. How much I get for that? Four bucks. Oh well. Uh, 
Alrighty, folks. So, I am going to run through these. See how much money I can make, and then see what the... I mean, I'm not sure where we go from here. If you know, let me know down in the comments. It may... Him. He's here to take your money. Nope. Oh. What do you want, boy? Just looking for some work around town. You got any jobs for a scout? I don't get any scout jobs going right now, but I could use a sweeper to get me some fresh beast parts. Sweeper. Oh yeah, that's where they call them in the business. Just a fancy name for someone who clears small fry and sells their parts. You want in? Reward. Sure. Can I get them back while they're fresh? Okay. All right, well, maybe we'll take that in the next uh, episode. I'm going to have to definitely bring my uh, gear up. Before I can do that. So, please keep your heads down. Your ghost killing implements up and all. See you again. Real damn soon.